meeting to order Shelby County Supervisors, Tuesday, May 21st, 2024. Any conflict of interest on the agenda today, guys? Aye. Aye. Okay. Do I have mo uh, any changes to the agenda, Mark? No. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the agenda as presented? Motion. Second. Motion by Charlie, second by Bryce. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. <coughs> A chance to go over the previous meeting minutes. Uh, any changes to the minutes, Mark? No. Okay. Motion to approve the minutes as presented. Motion. Second. Motion by Bryce. Second by Charlie. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Had a chance to look over the claims for the month. Yep. yep. No question. Any questions? None. Motion. Motion to approve the claims as presented then by Motion. Charlie. Motion. Second by Bryce. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. At this time, I'm going to take a motion to recess our regular meeting and open the amendment hearing. Motion. Second. Motion by Bryce, second by Charlie. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay, at this time, I'm opening the <coughs> amendment hearing. Uh, Mark. Yes. I've heard nothing from uh, the public uh, in my office. There's been okay. no reports at all. Um, Maybe just give a little highlight. Yeah, the way this uh, we talked about it this the last meeting, but people yeah, had. the way this was uh, amendment was put together. Uh, there's uh, in rule basic, general supplemental, general basic. There's ten thousand eight hundred dollars more spent than what was taken in, and everything else was like jail room and board. <coughs> Uh, 2080 agreement spendings, REAP uh, expenditures, uh, and things like that um, that were added, but uh, those are not property tax dollars. So uh, what it came up to was, uh, oh, what am I looking at here? About $425,000 in expenses extra, but only 91,000 was uh, uh, property taxes. Out of the general? Yeah. Then we have to do that. The state requires us to yeah. <coughs> uh, report all these things. And a good portion of that was the jail, and we talked about that a lot. At our budget time and after, where the jail attendance in the last two years has been up right at 50%. Yeah. Um, it's out of our control, but we need to. Um, make sure we stay within our budget here, and that's why these amendments are before us yeah. today. And there's things such as farm rent. Uh, we got twenty-one thousand dollars more in, in rents, not just farm rents, for uh, building and grounds. GIS nine thousand dollars more than we expected. Uh, jail um, eight thousand dollars more than expected. And these are revenues, so it isn't all expenses. And I want to make that clear that. Uh, there is some revenues that have offset property taxes. Okay. Inflation might have a lot to do with it. Yeah. Insurance. Uh, yeah, I ICAP insurance. Well. I had to add twenty thousand dollars for that alone. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Any questions? You guys have any other questions for Mark? Uh, no. So you've had no written comments. Or Verbal phone calls. Okay. Is, is anybody here? Um, this is the time to speak on uh, um, amendments. If you have anything to say, I see none. You guys have any questions? No. Nope. Okay. At this time, I uh, make a motion. Going to get a motion to close the hearing. Motion. Second. Motion by Charlie. Second by Bryce. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. We're back in a regular <coughs> session. Uh, next thing on the agenda is resolution for the 24-25 budget amendment consideration. Just what we talked about to approve that. Yes. Do I have a motion to approve? Motion. Second. Motion by Bryce. Second by Charlie. Any other questions? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, Kathy McQueen, County Care Center report. Good morning. Come on up here, Kathy. <coughs> get the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the one that's been ordering all the way. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was testing the... Does that bother you down there? Any issues? Um, 
Well, no. Uh, testing our new cave entrance. It right, had a yeah. little more leakage this time than it did the rest no, of the spring, but that was it was hard yesterday and last night. Right. <laughs> So I just put together um, a report, basically, this is actually from when I started there till now. Um, the last four years are highlighted, um, well maybe nine years, on my they are. <laughs> the last four years, um, as you see, the total um, major improvements that we put into the building and the grounds is 601,889. The last four years was 300,474 um, from 2020 wow. 20 to now. Um, over on the other side, it shows some of the additional help we got with the grants and the ARPA funds and stuff like that. So that's what we were talking about, the cave entrance and uh, the rest of the windows. Um, windows is one of the things in our lease. We now have all new windows throughout yeah, all, the whole all, building is all done. Wow, that's yeah. great. That took several years, but the the ending was in this final um, uh, infrastructure repairs and stuff. We really appreciate you do a great job yeah. of keeping up Thanks. the facilities down Thanks. there. You're not just <laughs> using it; you're keeping it up. Well, so I appreciate I that. <laughs> um, you know, you go into a lot of those places, and they look just like sterile facilities, like uh, institutions, and we're trying to make it look like a home. So. Yeah. Um, and then we had um, about $110,000 from uh, July of 19 through 23 of higher costs, but stuff we just um, finished out um, dealing with. So um, the other thing that is, <laughs> as Mark just said, insurance. As you notice, um, we pay the insurance on the outbuildings and the buildings um, through you guys, and you know that was significant jump from 4,000 last year to 7,100 this year. So I did call and say, hey, was this right? <laughs> yep. You know, just to make sure. Um, about the only other thing um, I attached was a copy of our, uh, we just got our DNR uh, license for the next oh, five years, yeah. or permit. Um, that started in January of last year, it takes that long. to. Yeah get all the way through. I mean, you send everything in and then they just go away and then all of a sudden they pop up like, <laughs> here we are again. So that went smoothly. So we got that approved. Our license is being approved right now. And so about the only other thing I have that we need to talk about is the lease. The lease um, will be up in um, uh, July 1st of, or June 30th of next year. And we usually come a year ahead to get that renewed, and we usually do a five-year renewal. So, <coughs> do you have anything proposed for that, or what? What are you thinking? Like, just continue, continue. as is. Um, yeah, I mean, has that been working for you? It has. Um, you know. It'll, it'll all depend on what we have for population down there. Um, our census is pretty low right now, but so is our staff. We are keeping the staff, which is kind of hard to do. I mean, sometimes you're in a rock and a hard place. You could, you get a referral and you, oh, I'd like to take them, but I don't have enough staff to deal with that, you know? Right. So it's like, plus nobody wants jobs. So, mm. you know, <laughs> um, I put an ad in the paper um, last, Oh, what was it? November, December. And we ran it for three, three months maybe? No, two months. Anyway, it was almost $2,000. And I got one out of oh Got some through Facebook, which then they kind of, you know, nobody wants to work. I we mean, they work. want their hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. We have some of the same issues in our department. Yes, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Everybody does. So mm -hmm. that's kind of where we are with that. Um, and again, I, you know, we have to, we'll have our renewal rates through the county and the state coming up in July. So, or through the region, I should say, not the county. So we'll work with that. But, okay. Yeah. 
Could you forward me that lease? And then I will forward it on to Marcus. Take a look at it. I brought extra copies. <laughs> when do you need, um, normally, I can email it to you too. Yeah. When do you need this uh, renewed by, or when would you like well, to take a look at it? <clears throat> we'd like to, um, as soon as possible, I guess, because you know, if we were to have, we, have, we don't have any issues. Yeah, no, so. I'm doing a great job. Um, yeah. We just, um, you know, I like to give some, especially the aging parents, a little peace of mind. You right. know, when um, the home in Atlantic closed, right. that put a fear in a lot. We took five or six of the elderly right. people, not Good elderly, point. from there, and their parents are elderly is where right. I was trying to go with that. Um, and so they're nervous as heck, wondering. Such stability. Yes, they, you know, because um, we actually took the five that they had left that nobody else would take. And it worked out with four of them. One of them actually went to Eastern Iowa to a more um, skilled care than we are. I'll pass on to Marcus. I can take a look at it. And if you see anything that we need to update <coughs> on it, otherwise we would I keep it the same. That's what I'm gathering here. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I, it's been the same. The lease hasn't changed um, other than um, a couple of amendments that were done in 2009 and 2013. So they've been the same for years. Well, it's a great asset to the community, and I would like to try to keep that here. So, like I've I been say, out there. They call it. They call it the place their home. Mm -hmm. Well, and it yeah, is. and some <laughs> do, and yeah, so. Uh, like I said, if we our our biggest thing right now is just maintaining s staff. I have two that are very sick um, and they're aging. We we all are, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, because most of us have been there right at around 20 years now. So, um, okay. yeah. so yeah, it, that's really I all. I think I some of the departments here have luck with uh, Indeed that website. Okay. I think they found some pretty good candidates using that. I think that okay. it's an expense, but it might be something to look at. Right. <clears throat> Do you have any questions, Marcus, for Kathy at this time? No, I, I'll take a look through this and okay. make any yeah. necessary changes. Okay. 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 All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. Appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, next on the agenda, uh, department head updates. I know Alex, uh, come on up and give us some updates on EMA. You have a tremendous amount of things going on, and tornado and FEMA. And yeah. Good yeah. morning. Morning. Yeah, I haven't slept much. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so FEMA is. We just got done with the commission meeting. Uh, FEMA is on the ground currently. Um, they're doing door-to-door -door operations. Uh, they're almost done with that. Um, once they're finished with that, they're going to be opening up a disaster recovery center. Um, sounds like that will be at the Chamber of Commerce building as long as all the paperwork goes through, which I'm expecting that it will. Um, you, when would that open? They're shooting for Wednesday. <coughs> Wednesday from tomorrow, of this week. Of this week is what I'm being told. However, I, I, if within that, the next few days. Yeah, within the next few days. Um, the hours that we're looking at doing are Monday through Friday, having it open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Saturdays, uh, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, we'll have those hours of operation, everything posted on the website, our county website, and then also our Facebook page. Um, Dude, are they letting the victim know that? Yes. Once they don't have it officially open yet, but yes, they will be letting victims and anybody who else personally needs, know that. Yeah, who yeah. needs that. Um, let them know that. And then also there is a, for those businesses that are affected or um, produ ag producers or anything like that, the uh, Small Business Administration has a center open in Minden at the fire hall um, with the same hours that I just said for our disaster recovery center. They're okay. open in Minden. Um, we're waiting on the USDA designation right now. Uh, all the requests have been made. Um, it's just being held up at Washington, D.C. for whatever reason. Uh, we don't know why. 
but we've contacted all the people we can contact and that's kind of out of our hands at this point. So um, if you, um, we're asking everybody to contact legislators and let them know why we need the assistance here. Um, and I think we've done that and yeah. they know and um, Secretary Nag and the governor's office have been very um, religiously contacting them trying to get that. I don't know what more of a worse disaster you need to get that, but it's, it's frustrating. It is. It is. And um, unfortunately, that, you know, that would provide additional help to especially the rural and, and farmers out right. there. Um, and that's just kind of what we're waiting on from that piece. But that would be like low interest loans. Yes, low interest loans, and there is a, I believe there's a grant process also, okay. but um, I'm not very familiar with it. Um, I'm trying, and even the people that I've talked to haven't, it hasn't been opened up very much, um, so I haven't gotten much information on it. But if it does open up, once I get documents on it, I'll make sure and share it out with everybody so that they're aware of it. Um, the Small Business Administration is the only avenue right now for ag producers and everybody who has machine sheds that were damaged to get those replaced if they weren't covered by insurance. Um, right. right now, FEMA is just covering the residential properties or child care, um, gas to and from places if you needed it, uninsured loss, things like that. So the USDA, would, a couple things would open up in some of the farm buildings and especially grain facilities. Mm -hmm. Uh, not covered now. Yeah. <coughs> um, so yeah, we're still working on that process, and then that's all the individual assistance. And then now we're also trying to get public assistance for the uh, governmental side of it. So the golf course damages, all of the time that we've spent uh, responding to it, and then also all the management time for collecting data and doing all of that. We're keeping track of all of that and submitting that back up to the state. So. Um, they haven't made a designation for that yet. They have 30 days from the date that FEMA got declared. So I would anticipate within the next week or two they'll be making that request for public assistance is what it's called. Um, but we have to keep getting them documents so that we hit the threshold for the state and show proof that we have the damages to support it, which at this point we do. We just don't have the state doesn't have the physical proof that they have it. They've got the reports from the EMAs and everybody that is there, but they don't have the documents yet. So that's what we're waiting on. Um, we've submitted it all. We're just kind of waiting on everything to catch up. So, um, and then um, working with some volunteer groups, um, including board of supervisors, um, Jim Shelton, Tina Reichel, a lot of other people, putting together a um, town hall for resources and relief Open house. open house. Yep, open house. Um, for uh, disaster victims and the general public. Um, and that'll be May 28th and Tuesday um, from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Cattlemen's will be doing a. Vets Auditorium. Vets Auditorium. Mm -hmm. Cattlemen's will be doing supper that night. Um, <coughs> getting FEMA will be there. FSA will be there. West Central Community Action will be there. Um, working on getting some other resources there. We'll have some mental health uh, providers there to answer some questions on that. Um, I've reached out to some local insurance adjusters to answer any insurance questions, not about specific policies, but just maybe some things that people need haven't thought of yet. Um, and it'll be kind of a Q, we'll do a short Q&A session, and then it'll just kind of be booths where people can just go up and talk and get questions answered that they haven't thought of. Um, and then we're also going to be thanking the groups of people that have helped out so far uh, yeah. who have stepped up because it's, a good idea. It's, uh, it's been astounding to just see the number of people that have stepped up to help their neighbors. So. And then the um, tornado um, relief fund that we had set up here in the county, um, there'll be a booth there for that where people yes. can donate. Just so people know, I get asked a lot. All the money will be stayed in Shelby County. Um, there's no income limit we're trying to reach all the victims and there are no administrative fees Shelby County State Bank is just um, with their employees they're administering it doing all the legwork they get nothing out of it at all so kudos to them for stepping up to the plate and just handling the process yes so they've been a big partner in this as well yep. like Steve said they're not getting anything out of it other than helping people so that's great yep. um, and then on top of that, 
more storms rolled in last night. So people heard sirens here in Harlan and I did. other towns. I didn't hear well, <laughs> I that's I mean it was late. It was about one o'clock in the morning. It sounds like we better be on the watch this afternoon too. Right? Yep. So Did they uh, just move that up a little bit. Yep. So from one to three, we're in another severe thunderstorm watch that could turn into tornado warnings again. Um, large hail. Large hail, and we're in flood warning. So flash flood warning. So contact nature view, watching river levels. Um, you haven't been busy, have you? No. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, You've been I, doing a great job. I got a video of the. Uh, boat ramp at Mishnah Bend was washed out this morning, the brand new boat ramp, so there's already damage in the county from yeah. our current storm. So. so, and I don't, normally what FEMA likes to do um, is they like to lump it all together. Um, <coughs> so far they haven't, they've just kept it at the April 26th, but being that we've had such a long occurrence of storms, there's a potential that they could lump all of this together, which could give us more of a chance of getting that PA, however that hasn't happened yet. So. Um, I'm going to talk with Nick and seeing that, as well as the other county departments. So if you have costs, you have damages, keep track of them, because if that declaration does come, you want to be able to go back and, and make note of it and keep track of it. So and take pictures. Take pictures. Yep. It's not a picture. It didn't happen. So yeah. yeah. <sighs> so that's okay. yeah, that's what I have. Yeah. Appreciate all you do. You really do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome job, Alex. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Have you You're doing a good job keeping it up? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else out there? Department heads? <coughs> okay, we'll move on to the next and supervisor's report. Yeah, I got it. Uh, was central to meeting tonight, map of meeting tomorrow, uh, SWIPCO meeting Thursday with budgets. That's my Still got budgets yet, huh? Yep. <coughs> okay. Uh, Conservation Board is, uh, of course, overwhelmed with mowing. It's been a great year for growing grass, along with everything else, and now storm damage. So um, they will be very busy. Um, and the boat ramp, like I said, got washed out last night. Uh, we just got a grant. I think it was just open almost a year ago, brand yeah. new, and uh, it's all undercut. So um, Nick will be contacting the engineers for that project and seeing what went wrong and hopefully they can help us out. But hopefully that's the only thing we have, but um, yeah, a lot of water out there. Uh, a little update on Southwest Iowa Juvenile Detention Center. Uh, I sit on that board. <coughs> for the month of April, we had one um, juvenile taken down there and for the year we've had nine. So um, it's a great facility and uh, Hopefully they're rehabbing the kids. So. Okay. Uh, I just got <clears throat> a little pipeline update. We have submitted our brief, which is our arguments, to the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals. And in the past week, <clears throat> we have had four, um, I don't know if I say this right, Marcus, <laughs> amicus briefs. And pretty impressive. These are briefs from outside sources that support our appeal in reversing the South, Dis uh, South District Court judge's decision for our ordinances. And they are from the National Pipeline Safety Trust, from Iowa Farm Bureau Federation, from Iowa Farmers Union, and then a group of landowners who are um, in the line of the pipeline. Um, a few of them were from Shelby County, Emmett County, Montgomery County. Um, they had an attorney and they wrote a brief too. And so I was very pleased they all hit on different points, um, the, the strong arguments we have, but the Pipeline Safety Trust and Farm Bureau really drove some points home. Um, and it was great to get their backing. So yeah. we're, as far as that appeal, um, nobody knows for sure, but we're probably not looking for a ruling till late fall at the earliest to the first of the year. Um, that's what Mr. Whipple keeps telling me, so I guess we'll see. Um, they haven't set a, a, a scheduled date yet for oral arguments, so. Um, that's really all I have on that for you. We'll move on then, Todd Galeen, Shelby County Chamber report. 
Touch. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. <clears throat> uh, just a few items. Start with uh, this coming Thursday at 6:30. It will be held at the Harlan Community High School Auditorium. We'll have our Shelby County candidates forum. These will be the candidates for the uh, office of. Shelby County Supervisor and the Office of Shelby County Auditor. Um, we're going to try to keep it to an hour. Uh, I will take, <coughs> I will allow the, the public to, you know, submit questions and then just randomly pull a few up and, and, and just kind of have a conversation that way. So, um, just a reminder to the public too that this is Emergency uh, Medical Services Week, March 19th through the 25th. And so they, here in Shelby County, they're running a kind of a unique program you can adopt um, a EMT or a paramedic and they'll tell you you know little goody things they like and you can drop them off for them and say thank you for the services that they provide so uh, just get a hold of uh, EMA and they'll take care of you there um, the 31st annual national senior health and fitness program is coming up next Wednesday May 29th from 10 to 12 it's going to be at the Peterson Family Wellness Center We'll have 15 plus vendors and snacks and giveaways and resources. It's sponsored by the Peterson Family Wellness Center and the Lewis Family uh, Aquatic Center and Murchie Medical Center. It's a free all day admittance for seniors 50 years of age or, and older. So you go in, <coughs> it's been great the last few years. They have a lot of vendors and they have a lot of information for folks um, in regards to their mental and physical health moving forward after the age of 50. So. Um, Another thing, Thursday night, May 20, or actually, actually afternoon, May 23rd, at Elmcrest in their McKee room, <coughs> they're going to be offering a presentation on senior scam protection because it's just getting worse and worse and worse mm -hmm. by the day. And so they're gonna, it's gonna be a really good program for people to go attend, again, 1.30 on Thursday at their McKee room. And uh, I'm glad they're putting that together because it's, it's really needed, especially with now with the damages and everything, it's just going to get worse. So, um, and then just a quick reminder that Friday and Saturday, May 24th and 25th, it is Tivoli Fest once again. So, uh, go on down, enjoy the event. They always have fantastic food and music and a lot going on, and it's a great uh, county celebration of the year. So, head on down for that. We do have our board meeting today, and one of the things we're going to be discussing is. Uh, as part of the Shelby County Disaster <coughs> Recovery Plan, um, there's a subgroup in <coughs> the Economic Recovery Support Function. And uh, the Chamber is the primary agency on that. And then we'll be putting together a group of other agencies, you know, Board of uh, Supervisors, West Central, bank, local banks, insurance. So we can start putting, make sure that everybody's getting the information. Kind of the theme is we don't want one person to feel like they were left out of any information available to them to help them recover. So um, that's what, that'll be something we'll be putting together over the next couple of days. Okay. All right. That's it. Thank you, sir. Thanks, right. Todd. Secondary Rose Report, Chris. <clears throat> morning. Good morning, everyone. Chris, how are you today? Wonderful. <laughs> you? Better <laughs> frogs here. Good. Uh, with today's rain, that kind of threw out everything I was going to tell you that we maybe had accomplished so far <laughs> in the last two weeks. Uh, Mother Nature's still in control, ain't she? She right. is. <laughs> so I guess She's the guys are out right now. are trying to sound the ship, see what we've got for issues. I know there's some bubbling up, so we'll have some things to work on and, and repair. Yeah. Um, other than that, last week we laid it an awful lot, and I think we had things trying to come on the, the positive side for once, and yeah, Mother Nature knocked us back. So right. mm -hmm. um, we'll see how the the weather treats us the rest of the week. If it's dry, if we can get back on any of our um, pipe projects, I know the bridge crew is out there looking at that site. It's washed pretty hard. So um, yeah. I haven't seen the creeks up that much in years. I know. It's been a while. Small. Which could be a good problem, but it's also yeah, a bad problem at this time. So yep. Things are progressing, and I guess we'll see what happens this afternoon, too. Um, there's a few roads that have washed fairly bad. I don't know. Like I said, the guys are out looking. I don't think we've closed any yet, but we may have to. So just everybody be aware of possible closures and, and understand there's a reason. So. 
Can you give a little update on the damage report out of the landfill? Yeah, um, landfill still open, obviously. <coughs> uh, I did get a quote on the overhead doors. Just for that, you're looking at close to $62,000 for six roll doors, so that's not a small portion of them. I do have somebody coming to give a quote on fixing their buildings also, so um, get that and turn it into the insurance adjuster to see what we can come up with. And what We're just looking at that building standing as close as it was to the tornado's pass. I know. I'm, yeah, it's a good thing they're there. Or yeah. We would be hauling directly to Carroll at this point. Right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I wish I had better update or better news for you, but that's just what it is, we'll deal so, with it. Yeah, we can't change it. So. Okay. That's what I got. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. Take care. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Next on the agenda is resolution 2024-27, resolution resolution objecting to the Iowa Utility Board's authority to eminent domain um, within, the Shelby, within Shelby County for privately owned and operated CO2 pipelines. What this is, is Bremer County uh, sent out a template that they have researched and hired some attorneys to work with them on. Bremer County is one of the 20 new counties that is, uh, Summit has added 14 ethanol plants to their project and affects 20 other counties. And if you remember, it's been almost year and a half to two years ago, we filed just an objection in the docket to the utility board. Most of the counties that were affected um, filed that docket in objection to the use of eminent domain. This year, through a resolution, um, Bremer County and some of the other counties, instead of uh, filing just on the docket, the objection, which doesn't have a lot of reasoning um, or rationale why um, you filed the objection. This almost four page resolution distinguishes that and talks about that. And they've asked the other counties that have done this to form a united front and together, I mean, we can form all these together and submit them to the Iowa Utility Board. And I've talked to Mr. Whipple about that. Um, he thought that was a very good idea. <coughs> I've had Marcus look at um, this resolution. Um, you were good with that? Yep. So that's why it's before us today. It's to form a united front with the other counties that were involved and that we have the reason stated in here why we do not feel um, that authority should be before them. I'll just read the last part of it. Be it resolved that the Board of Supervisors of Shelby County, under the authority of Iowa Code 331-301, that shall exercise any power and perform any function it deems appropriate to protect and preserve the rights, the privilege, and the property of the county and its residents, and to preserve and improve the peace, safety, health, welfare, comfort, and convenience of its residents. Based on the findings of the Iowa Supreme Court in Putney versus Iowa Utility Board, the Shelby County Board of Supervisors finds, in fact, they are not limited by Iowa Code 331.301 to be inconsistent with the laws of the General Assembly in protecting and preserving the private property taking, utilizing eminent domain due to the lack of public purpose where in this case the sole purpose is private economic gain by Summit Carbon Solution and its affiliates. Therefore, the Shelby County Board of Supervisor objects to the use of eminent domain for private economic gain and urges the Iowa Utility Board not to grant Summit the use of eminent domain for this project. That says exactly what I feel. Yeah. Yep. 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 So, <clears throat> any other comments to that? Do I have a motion to approve this resolution? Motion. Second. Motion by Charlie, second by Bryce. Any other questions? None. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thanks, you guys. Next on the agenda, Lonely Oaks Distillery Alcohol Permit. Yeah, this is the annual uh, consideration by the supervisors to approve this permit. 
I have never heard any comments, I any any just, comments uh, at all. Negative. Professionally run business and everything's done really well up there. Has anything changed in that process in the past year? Uh, in grabbing these permits, right. we're getting better at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a lot. We know where the. I didn't know if they changed any circumstances or, or qualifications. Oh no, no. But the process changed about a year and a half, two years ago, and nobody knew could give us instruction on how to do it or okay. anything. And so we know where the hiccups lie and. Yeah, the form doesn't have a place for anybody to sign it, so we have to make our own. You know, just little things like that that you okay. have to learn. And there's so many processes in the auditor's office that you just have to learn. Okay. <laughs> um, do I have a motion to approve Lonely Oaks Distillery? How can that? Motion. Second. Motion by Bryce, second by Charlie. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Fiscal year 25 transfer authorization. This is an annual thing we do to allow Mark to transfer between funds. Yeah, uh, everything, uh, I'll just read, and these are the basic ones. This isn't every one of them because you don't know which ones are actually going to be needed, but these will be needed. Uh, it's just an educated guess that these will be needed. So uh, uh, general basic and rule basic to the capital fund, to the fund capital purchases. Uh, general basic fund to the general supplemental fund, and that gets complicated. We uh, use the maximum levy on general basic and any extra in there gets it put back into general supplemental for insurance and employee benefits. Um, the next one, rural basic and the general basic fund and secondary roads, those are state allowed transfers uh, that do have maximums attached to them. And uh, every one of these are as budgeted. In other words, the numbers that are in the budget is all we can do. That would be the maximum we can do. And then also the rural basic fund and the flood and erosion control fund and the capital fund. Uh, the, uh, flood and erosion control fund is like dam, riprap, and things like that. And those costs, those big rocks are expensive. And to the capital fund, and that capital fund is um, can be used for road rock, whatever's budgeted. It can be used for uh, uh, equipment for environmental health. Uh, that would be the capital fund there. And the other one, uh, general basic fund to the conservation fund. That's the yearly uh, donation, if you will, that the county, every taxpayer in the county uh, gives to the conservation fund. It's about $250,000 this year. And that's only about half of their budget. So, uh, and the county funds that. And there's a minimum that you have to fund, because if you don't, then you don't qualify for refunds. And we're covering that this year. So. Those are the transfers uh, that are scheduled in the budget. Thank you. Do you guys have any questions about that? No. Okay. Like I said, this is um, something we do annually to allow Mark to make the transfer. I <coughs> have a motion to approve the 25 transfer authorization. Motion. Second. Motion by Charlie, second by Bryce. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. <coughs> I just have a little update. Remind everybody that on our next meeting on June 4th will be the bid opening for the annex building. Uh, advertising mark started yesterday for the building, and Bryce is going to check into um, one of the issues over there, to get checked out. So we should be good to go. Have you had any? Um, concerns or questions with the annex building sale mark? Okay. Some people have visited. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Anybody have? Okay. Meeting adjourned. Thanks, everybody. Oh.